Hello again. So we're still continuing with Douglas Florian's books. And today it's lizards, frogs, and polywogs. So here's a question. Are lizards and frogs the same thing? Same type of animal? And do you know what a polywog is? If you don't, polywog is a nickname for a tadpole which is an immature amphibian. Okay, so this book is gonna be about amphibians and reptiles. And they have a lot in common, but there's a lot of things that are different. So we'll see what we find out. The skink. Along the ground I'm found, I slink. Through grass I pass, I am a skink. Bite my tail and it releases. I don't fight back. I fall to pieces. All right, look at that picture of the skink. What do you think about a skink, huh? Interesting. The tortoise. I wear a helmet on my back. It's hard and guards me from attack. And if I wheeze or sneeze or cough, the shell I dwell in won't fall off. It's glued without a screw or mortise. I'm born with it, for I'm a tortoise. <laughs> uh, the gecko. Another concrete poem. The gecko's trick is climbing walls. Like glue, it sticks and rarely falls. Across the ceiling it may roam, but don't you try this in your home. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to be able to climb upside down. Oh, the crocodile and the alligator. The crocodile's smile is wide, enough to stuff a pig inside. But did you know that alligators sometimes swallow second graders? What do you think about that last line, huh? The iguana. I wouldn't want to be an iguana. Iguanas are covered with scales. I wouldn't want to be an iguana. Iguanas can have spiny tails. I wouldn't want to be an iguana. Iguanas are sometimes green. I wouldn't want to be an iguana, except for Halloween. <laughs> Mm, the cobra. The cobra is the one that has that big wide, their neck gets really wide. It's wise to stay clear of the dangerous cobra all months of the year, including October. Look how he changed the word October. There's the cobra. Cobras are scary. The Komodo dragon. I am Komodo. I'm gruesome and gray. The most massive lizard that's living today. Birds and boars for me are a meal. Plus all those who don't think that dragons are real. Do you know that their saliva has so much bacteria and stuff in it that I think it's one of the most poisonous things ever or something? It's nasty. They need to brush their teeth more. The Gila Monster. They call me a monster just because I have short legs and clumsy claws and poison in my jaws and look like someone's composition book. <laughs> Can you see him in there? He does look like those composition books that are black and white. That's funny. The Box Turtle. This Bony domes, my mobile home, a shell so swell in which to roam when I'm scared by fair or fox. Inside I hide safe in my box. I close it shut and go to bed secure from beasts. That box my that box my head. The python with thirty feet to squeeze your prey. Python, you take my breath away. <laughs> uh, 
but not in a good way. Take my breath away. That is a, that is an idiom. Remember idioms? They don't, they're not literal. Only in that case it is literal. So I guess it's not an idiom because he really does take your breath away. All right, the chameleon. Chameleon, comedian. We never know which skin you're in. Sometimes you're yellow, then you're green, turquoise, blue, or tangerine. Chameleon, you're hard to find. Comedian, make up your mind. Okay, look closely at the picture. You can see him in there. The diamond back rattlesnake. Fork in front, rattle behind. The lump in the middle, don't pay any mind. Scales up high, scales down low. The lump in the middle, you don't want to know. Diamonds above, diamonds below. The lump in the middle, a rabbit, too slow. All right, look at that picture. Can you see the shape of the rabbit? <laughs> I see his little ears sticking up. Oh, the pollywogs. The pollywogs, we pollywog, we pollywiggle. We shake in lakes, make wakes and wriggle. We quiver, we shiver, we jiggle, we jog. We're yearning to turn ourselves into a frog. Ew. So that big frog has all those little polywogs on it. And look how he did the letters on the palm. He made them all woggly. Oh, the midwife toad. On dad's back, the eggs are toted. To his kids, he's totally devoted. Look, the dad carries around all the little baby eggs on his back. The glass frog. Upon a tree, it's hard to see which part is leaf and which is me. Which part is me and which is leaf? I've lost myself again. Good grief. It's kind of cool. Blends in. Ah, the newt. Orange nose, orange toes, orange chin, orange skin, orange tail, orange newt. Orange, you cute. In your bright orange suit. Mm-hmm. The wood frog. Now this has an interesting, interesting thing about frogs. I am a frozen frog sickle. I froze beneath a log sickle. My mind is in a fog sickle inside this icy bog sickle. My temperature is 10 degrees. I froze my nose, my toes, my knees, but I don't care. I feel at ease for I am full of antifreeze. You hey, look at that. Do you know that they can survive being frozen solid in winter? Then they wake back up in the spring. Goodness. The red-eyed tree frog. Tomato eyes catches flies. Orange toes loves to pose. Matchstick legs hatches from eggs. Swallows bugs. Lives on t-shirts and coffee mugs. What? What do you think about that last line? Why do you think he'd say that? Lives on t-shirts and coffee mugs. I'll have to think about that one. Oh, the bullfrog. Polly Wogger, Bobby Bogger, Billy Bellow, Mallow Fellow, Hedda Hopper, Freddy Flopper, Jimmy Swimmy, Timmy Shimmy, Sammy Summer, Juggo Rummer, Juggo Rummer. The poison dart frog, brown with oval orange spots, crimson mottled black with bots, blots, neon green with black blue bands, tangerine with lemon strands, banana yellow, ultramarine, almost any color seen. And though their poison can tip a dart, these frogs are masters of fine art. Look what he did with the frogs, he put them on a, 
on a painter's palette because they are so many different colors. I didn't know that. That's really cool. But you can't touch the dang thing because that would be bad. All right. The Spring Peepers. Oh my goodness. Peep. Peep. We steal your sleep. In scores of choruses, we cheat. Beneath your chins, a thin balloon to help our... Oh, beneath our chins, a thin balloon to help our song from March till June. Each spring we sing to bring a mate and make you stay awake too late. Oh, we don't have those. But I have a feeling they're super annoying when they're cheeping all night long. All right, so here's my question. So which poem or poems did you, did spark your curiosity and what are you wondering about and why? So that'll be your question. And then let's talk about reptiles and amphibians. Here's your science for the day, a really quick lesson. So reptiles and amphibians. Amphibians live in the water and the land and they're born in the water and then they move to land but they have to be close to water because their skin is super porous and it needs to stay wet and then reptiles they always live on land and they have scales on their skin that holds in water so they don't have to be in water so anyway there's some interesting facts you can find out more on your own i'm sure all right toodaloo see you next time